What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be talking about two tips to moss a DB in a jump ball situation. So we're going to be talking about what you guys should be thinking when you go up for the ball, how you guys should secure this catch, and then obviously how you guys can come down with this 50-50 ball most of the time, okay? So I hope this video helps you guys out. Hope it gives you a few new ideas that you guys can do when you're in a jump ball situation and teaches you a few new things about the wide receiver position that can benefit your game. But also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you got to get better hands, you want to improve your grip strength, your hand-eye coordination, just overall catching ability, but maybe you don't have a quarter back to throw to you 24 7 every single day 100 footballs a day check out that very first link in the description below for our 30 day catching program no quarterback necessary it's 30 days of specific workouts mapped out with sets repetitions rest periods and all the above with all the drills you guys need to do and exercises to help your hands improve okay so if you got to get better hands check out that very first link in the description for our 30 day catching program let's get started with this video so this jump ball situation right this is a perfect example of what going up strong and ripping the ball away can do for for you in the end zone when you have a jump ball 50-50 opportunity, okay? So now, first thing I want to point out, though, is to be able to set us up in this situation for a goal line fade, this outside release is a must, right? If you're in a goal line situation, and it's um, or maybe red zone situation, I should say, and you're getting man coverage, we know that this DB chances are is not going to let me cross my face. I can pretty much expect that if they're going to be going man, he's probably going to be inside shade. So when I come off and I choose my release, I got to make sure that I at least keep him to be, or at least keep him flat-footed to the inside, or maybe put some weight on that inside leg, or Maybe I even get him to full-blown jump, but I have to threaten him in this direction to set up the outside release, right? And that's exactly what this receiver does. He comes out, gives that little foot fire release, steps outside the DB's frame, head and shoulder fake. All we got to do is just get him to sit to the inside. I don't need him to jump. I just need him to sit because I'm trying to get to that outside release to get that 50-50 opportunity. Now, for two, two, two things that you guys can do to make sure that we come down with this ball, especially when we have to catch it over a defender, we got to go up strong, right? So I have to go up strong. And what do I mean by that? I don't mean having like brick hands and being super tense with your hands. I mean going up with a strong grip. You got to have soft hands, obviously, but you want to go up strong with your arms because this DB is going to be playing those arms. As soon as he sees your hands go up, he's going to be trying to rip through this thing. So I want to make sure that I go up strong and that my eyes trust this thing. You've got to make sure no matter where the catch is, whether it's over your head, whether it's back shoulder, whether it's low, you're taking that picture frame catch. What do I mean by that? And obviously you can't think about this type of stuff. You can't think about the picture frame catch um, while you're in an actual game situation when the bright lights are on, quarterback's throwing you the ball because you have many other things to worry about. However, when you go up with that ball in practice, you can 100% think about it. It's all repetition, so when you get out there onto the field, it's automated, right? So when he goes up for this ball, again, picture frame catch, nothing else is in his line of vision except the football. That's how we can come down with this thing, number one. Now, to finish the play, we my mindset needs to be, okay, I'm going to go up and secure it, then I'm going to rip it away from the DB. There's two ways that you can rip it. You can either turn your entire body and use like your body as a shield from this DB, or you could pull this ball over your head like this receiver does. He goes up, he secures it, then he rips it away and pulls this thing over his head. So on the way down, that DB does not have a chance to rip the ball out of his hand. So make sure, fellas, two tips to moss a DB. You gotta go up with strong hands, make sure your eyes are taking that picture. And then as soon as we secure that ball, my mindset is ripping it away from the DB so he doesn't have a chance to make this play. Let's watch the thing again, full speed one more time. Great job setting this DB up to the inside so we could take the outside release. And then obviously going up strong, and ripping this thing away from the defender. All right, guys, if you have not heard, we are going to be in the San Diego area October 24th for a three-hour-long quarterback and wide receiver training clinic. So if you guys are interested in this, you guys are local to the San Diego area, want to come out and get some work in with us, check out that second link in the description below, fellas. Great opportunity for you guys to come out, get better. I'll be working with the receivers, the quarterbacks, and I'm also bringing out a speed coach to help you guys with overall running mechanics, speed mechanics, and 40-yard dash time. So I hope you guys could check that out. Second link in that description below. And if you guys have any questions on this video or anything in general, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I'll see you guys next time.